suspense. And the producer of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, the master of mystery and adventure, William N. Robeson. There are many kinds of suspense, but the happiest suspense is the kind we share at this time of year with our children. The suspense which has its denouement next Wednesday morning. The suspense of what Santa Claus is bringing for Christmas. For the little girl in the upcoming story, however, there is no such suspense. All she wants for Christmas is a dog, and a dog she is certainly not going to get. To play this unhappy little girl, we have invited a most talented little girl to make her first appearance on radio. Already a star of TV and motion pictures, seven-year-old Evelyn Rudy now adds another medium to the domain of her talents. Listen. Listen, then, as Evelyn Rudy stars in Dog Star. Daddy, honest, Daddy. The only thing I want for Christmas is a dog. Even if it isn't exactly the kind Mike was, that's all I want. Ray, please. Sorry. Uh, well, if she weren't such a tomboy, it'd be different. But can you imagine getting Julie a dollhouse or a painting set or a party dress? I'm sorry, Anne. And Julie, no dog. Then you shop for her. I'm tired of roaming around like a zombie in every store in town. You find her present. If I can't have a dog again, I just don't care what I get. Now, listen, both of you. I like dogs just as much as you do. I loved Mike, too. But Julie loves them too much. She hasn't eaten a decent meal since Mike got killed. And it's not going to happen again. We're not going to put her happiness at the mercy of another brainless pup and every idiot speeder in town. It wasn't Mike's fault. It was my fault. I should have kept him in the yard. It was my fault, but honest. I'd never, never, never let my pup out again if I could just have one. Julie. Honey, suppose I got you a bike, a big bike, a 26, okay? But, Daddy, I don't want a bike. I want a dog. Julie, come back here. It's getting dark. Let her go, Ray. I said she could play with Timmy. Let her go. Hey, Julie, what happened? Are you going to get a dog for Christmas? No. Hey, Julie, I got an idea. See, I asked my dad for a dog, and we moved Mike's doghouse over to my yard, and we can both play with him. How about that? Thanks, Timmy, but no, it just isn't the same. No, I guess not. Hey, Julie, I got my flashlight with me. You know what? What? Let's go up to Palmer Canyon and see if any ducks have flown onto the pond this evening. I don't feel like it, Timmy. Um, oh, come on. We might even see a goose. <laughs> But how do the ducks find their way all the way down here from the north? Oh, it's something called instinct. See, what was that? Golly, I don't know. It sure was close. It sure was. Oh, it was a tree falling, I bet. Hey, here's the pond. Come on, Julie. I'm coming. Dell Police, Lieutenant Spencer speaking. Oh, uh, this is Professor Goodwin at the observatory. Oh, yes, Professor. Lieutenant, for the past half hour, we've been tracking one of their later satellites. It landed about three minutes ago. Huh? We have a fix. It hit the Palmer Canyon area of Oakdale. Yeah? Y you sure? Positive. I'm leaving now. And, Lieutenant, I think you better get some men up there quick. Sergeant, get three cars up to Palmer Canyon. Emergency. And I call the off section for guard duty. And, yes, and call the chief on the highway patrol. Call the mayor, too. Tell him a satellite landed in Palmer Canyon. Well, I guess it's getting too late in the year for the ducks. Yes, we better start back home. What was that? What? I thought I heard a dog crying. I didn't. It is two. There's a dog down there by the pond. Where's the flashlight? Uh, here. A little white dog. Oh, his legs are hurt. He can hardly crawl, it looks like. Oh, he's bleeding. And he's wearing something all torn up. 
chimney. Somebody must have tortured him. Yeah, poor fella. <laughs> hey, his tail's wagging. He likes you, Julie. Oh, poor little thing. Timmy, I'm going to keep him. What'll your dad say? We'll hide him. <laughs> they won't torture you anymore. They won't hurt you anymore. We'll hide you. Where will you hide him? Like you said, we'll put Mike's old doghouse in your yard and take care of him there. Maybe when he's well, Daddy will let me keep him. Okay. Well, come on. Here. No, I'll carry him. <laughs> look. Look, Timmy. What? He licked me. He licked my face. <laughs> Take the uphill side. Uh, and don't let anybody near the parachute unless Professor Goodwin says to. Okay, we are. All right. Okay, Professor, I guess that covers it. Well, I'll sure be glad when the Air Force gets here. Just think where this thing has been. Yeah. It looks like a metal beach ball with portholes. Hmm. Hey, what's this, Professor? An oxygen mask for a midget? Well, there was something in here. A dog, I bet. And this got knocked off its head. And it chewed its way out of its harness. Here, look. Here, we've got to find it. There's blood on the ground, Professor. It won't go far. We have got to find it, Lieutenant. We've got to find it. More coffee, Ray? Uh-uh. As late as it is. Imagine that satellite practically landing in our backyard. What an age. Well, I've got to get down to the office. I'll be back early to help with the tree. Goodbye, Julie. Bye, Daddy. Now, would you please take care of that thing for Julie we were talking about? Julie, Timmy, come in. Hand me a knife, quick. What are you doing? Cutting him some meat, quick. Here. I was just looking at him. I got him a blanket, like you said. How is he? Oh, he's asleep. Here comes your mother. Give me the meat. Here, put it in your pocket. Uh, hello, Mrs. Roberts. Hello, Timmy. What are you two up to? Nothing. Oh, no, there is my breakfast. word on the satellite, which returned to Earth last night in Palmer Canyon. An overseas monitored report confirms the guess that there was a dog in the parachuted container. Joy! It is a small white husky similar to Laika, the ill-fated first space traveler. This one is called Chitka and wears its name on its collar. It was announced that it is trained to react to this name. Julie, I was listening. I'm sorry, Mommy. Can I go out and play? You didn't finish your cereal. All right. Julie, did you hear what he said? It's not the same dog. It sounds like it is. It does not. Now, shut up. Okay, Julie. Here he is. <laughs> Hi, Mike. We'll call him Mike. Look, he's opening his eyes. Give me the meat. Here, Mike. Oh, look, he won't eat it. He's pretty sick, Julie. Hey, let's see his collar. No. Hey, it's all funny letters, Julie. I can't read it. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. Say his name, Julie. Mike. No, the one the radio said. No. We've got to know, Julie. I, I forget. No, you don't. You'll never forget anything. Chitka. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I won't let them take you back. I'm going to keep you anyway. And now more on the Chitka story. On this Christmas Eve, the little white dog has not yet been found, although he is thought to be injured. All veterinarians in the area have been alerted. Well, we return you now that to satellite really Christmas shook up this town. Cops all over the place looking for the pooch. Dad, if we found him, if our country found him, would we have to send him back? <laughs> I'm just a small town lawyer, honey. They're a big shot straining their brains on that one. We'd have to stick to international law, of course. It's Timmy. I'll go. Now, don't be long. I won't. Hi, Timmy. How is he? Well, I, I just looked at him, Julia. I think he's awful sick. Come on, then. Have you got the flashlight? Yeah. 
Here it is. He just lies there panting like. Oh, he's got to be all right. He's got to be. Oh, Mike. Oh, nice little dog. He is sick to me. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, Mike, don't die. Please don't die. Give me the blanket, Timmy. What are you going to do? Come on, Mike. Come on, nice little dog. But they all know about him. I heard it on the radio. I have to. I can't let him die. <laughs> Somebody will give us a ride. They've got to. Please stop this one. Please stop. Yeah, kid? Where are you going? Central Avenue, sir. Anywhere on Central. Okay, hop in. What do you got there, kid? My dog. He uh, shed any of that fur? No, sir. Central Avenue, eh? What are you going down there for on Christmas Eve? A short beer, huh? <laughs> no, sir. A vet, I mean. A vet? Hey, that dog hurt. Hey, look, he's bleeding from the mouth. Okay, kid, out. Oh, mister, can't you please take us Now, apart? listen, these are no seat covers. Out. Oh, Mike. Stay alive just five minutes. The vet will make you well in just five minutes. <laughs> There's a light there. Somebody's home. They've got to be. I'm awfully sorry. We're close. Oh, I... I see, honey, yes. A doctor. Coming. And what seems to be the trouble, little girl? I'm Julie Roberts. And this is Mike, and I'm afraid he'll die. Oh, now, isn't that too bad? Uh, say, what kind of a dog is that, Julie? A, a sort of a husky. Yeah? Uh, where'd you get him? My, my dad got him for me. And tonight, a car hit him and... Yeah. Uh, Martha, uh, hand me that police circular. Here you are, Doctor. Uh, we'll just put him on the operating table. Chitka? Uh, 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 call the police, Martha. Right, Doctor. Uh, then I want you to take its blood pressure while I get a sample of blood and... Uh, I see. Just call the Air Force base and ask them to send a flight surgeon down here. Yes, sir. Just tell them to hurry. I, I'm putting him away. I'm sorry, Julie. Putting him away? He's paralyzed, Julie. He couldn't run and play or do anything you'd want him to. He, even if they let you keep him. But I'd take care of him anyway, doctor. I'd bring him his food and take care of him. Don't call them. Don't kill him. Give him back. Honey, it's no use. He, he just suffer. You wouldn't want that. Oh, Mike, Mike. Nice boy. See, doctor, he licked me. He'll get better. No, no, he won't, Julie. You wait in the hall, and, and I'll ask the police to take you home. Oh, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Police. Yes, ma'am. No kidding. Yeah, well, thank you, ma'am. Hey, Scoop, uh, you want to get that AP job in New York? Here's your chance. That pooch just turned up at the Parks Dog and Cat Hospital. Holy cow! Thanks, Sarge. <laughs> that is right, operator. I want embassy. 
I don't care what time they tell you he's in Washington. Tell them he's about Chitka. C-H-I-T-K-A. Tell them he's Kaleg. Central Intelligence? Now, look, this is Peters in Oakdale. You give me the chief? Merry Christmas, chief. The dog turned up. Yeah, some kid had it. That's right, a little girl. Name of Julie Roberts, 354 Parkdale Terrace, Oakdale. Yeah, I'm sober. A little girl. to outrun the reporters. It's just, just wonderful. But uh, it isn't a dog. No. Well, your mother and I were talking, and I think... Uh, wait. Yes? Who? And get, get, get me a drink. Before breakfast? Well, what is get it? Get me a drink? Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is her father. Oh, oh, sir, I, I, I can't believe a crate. Uh, no, sir, not, not yet. Yes, sir, we'll be expecting it. Oh, thank you, sir, and a very merry Christmas to you. Ray, what's wrong? You're white as a sheet. And I, g- give me that drink. Dad, what's the Air Force car doing outside? Look, they're bringing a box up the wall. Oh, and this room's a mess. Yes? Uh, a Major? A Merry Christmas, sir. Is this where Julie Roberts lives? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, did the White House call, sir? Hey, yes. Okay, open it up, Sergeant. <laughs> it's a puppy. A little white puppy. It's for you, Julie. Uh, if your folks don't mind, they don't. Uh, they don't. <laughs> Major, won't you sit down? No, ma'am. I have a little girl to get back to myself. Merry Christmas, folks. Ray, who was that on the phone? And when I tell you, you'll never believe me. You'll never believe me. production of Dog Star by Michael Frost. Supporting Evelyn Rudy and Dog Star were Shirley Mitchell, Dick Beale, Shep Mencken, Jack Crucian, Sam Pierce, Ben Wright, Lou Krugman, and Norm Alton. 